Okay guys, it is time to do the Draxon update. <laughs> it slightly didn't go as planned, but uh, hey, nothing else. We got some ryegrass coming up, so that's something to be excited about. So, out of four calves that I gave Draxon to, two survived, uh, two did not. And one of the casualties was the penny, the one uh, we fought for a long time and uh, gave her the direction, gave her multi-man, uh, got her some vitamins and whatnot, warmed her, and found her next day. Uh, sucks. Um, then I had another one I just... Uh, uh, I could tell she was starting to feel bad. Shot her with Draxon, but she was a smaller, about 250 weight. And uh, just next day, same same sign, just came back and she's laid over. Um, so with that, just know these uh, these guys, they the calves can take, they can fall out from underneath you very quickly. Um, you have got to stay on top of these guys. Um, I've got some other stuff in the works now that I'm planning to do to, I guess, make this better um, for future. But uh, that's all going to come. I'm going to document it all. Like I said, this here is just to be transparent and see. So everybody that's curious how it works and whatnot, um, that's that's this is how it is, and it is what it is. And uh, we'll we'll make a better effort next time for sure. Now I will show you. We call this one Cinco. Cause she's got number five in her ear uh she was one of the ones that got some draxon and she's actually bouncing back pretty good we still got a little minor cough uh, but she is in the bunk eating and there's a bremer cross braford whatever you want to call her uh, tiger stripe i really like her but uh if you notice i do not have any more calves they all got uh after i lost those calves uh, my death rate was up pretty good i was scared that i might have had something in the ground here or just too much risk and uh we've been having this crazy janky weather just absolutely up and down with weather with cold and rain and then uh uh then the next two days it's in the 70s and 80s and everything's just backed sweating again so this wild weather i can't really risk it with the current setup i have um but good news is today i will be building a calf shed which will be right in this area uh a lean to with three covered walls uh this is north here this way so i will have a back here and then two sides on it that way calves can get underneath there They'll be out of the rain and out of the north wind. I think that's gonna help me tremendously. And then turns out where I've got this roped in here, this is gonna end up being my sick pin, this one here. And then you see, I've got it cleared out to this wood line. I'm gonna end up roping it in down there, coming back this way with cross fence. And then I will have my main pins in here. And I threw this ryegrass out last time before I left. Uh, so this is two weeks. So. Literally just threw it out like bird seed, just threw it out on the ground and then uh, all the rain pushed it in the ground and now we're up and running. So once we get new calves in, we'll should be in good shape. But uh, these two little guys are eating good. The reason I didn't sell them, this one was still too sick. The one that got the Draxon just looked horrible and I'm not gonna, I would, I would have lost my tail. The Brindle, I could not catch. She got in them woods and uh, she doesn't feel the greatest. I'm going to give her a shot of new flow. Um, it's not as harsh as the Draxon. One thing, I, I correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, with the Draxon, I think it is imperative. Like, you must catch it quick. If you've got a calf that looks sick or seems to be sick, hit them with it right then because at that point their immune system their body overall is still up to speed and they can take that hard hit from that the Draxon. and just know that uh that's the liver die drug if you will to me in my mind um 
But if these calves start getting weak and you hit them with it, the, it's too much power. It, they can't handle it. Um, so she's been off and on. Plus the, the Bramers just, they seem to be able to take this weather, I guess, a little better. And overall, they don't turn like the Herefords. Good God. Hereford crosses, any kind of Hereford. These guys, when they turn, they turn the corner fast. It is unbelievable how they can go from being a zero to a, I mean, a hero to a zero, like, instantly, damn near. It is crazy. But with that, I'm going to hit her with some new flow whenever, after I get my calf shed up, I'm going to build a shoot, and then I will have my working pin a little bit, like a small working pin here, and we will end up having a, uh, I'm gonna get a calf table, that way I can restrain them. That way they a little less stress, if you will, uh, for both me and the calves. And plus I can do stuff by myself and I won't require help. Um, but, so that will be coming, pro she'll probably get a shot Saturday. But as you can see, she's in the bunk eating, which that right there gives me a hope and I'm glad I caught her with this other one here, and they've both been hanging together. So they're, uh, you know, if you don't know or realize, hey, look here, look who's back. I wonder what these guys are. I'm still waiting for a comment. Somebody could tell me what the heck this kind of caterpillar is or whatever. I wish I had big enough fish in the tank. I'd put them on a hook. Anyway, but yeah, so. They're running together, and they're, they seem to be happy. They're both eating good. Uh, they're starting to gain weight. This one really is turning the corner, the the one that got the Draxon. I'm glad I didn't lose her to you. She, this, I really don't want to lose. I think this is the prettiest heifer I have, honestly. Um, so I'm glad she's turning the corner and doing better. Uh, like I say, she'll get a shot of new flow, but uh, I, don't, I don't think she needs Draxon. She doesn't, I mean... These bramers are pretty tough. But anyway, that's the update on the the Draxon. So in summary, it's tough. It's hard. Uh it's it's the it's the go-to. Um it's expensive. It's gonna take them X calf you shoot, it's probably gonna be about 50 bucks. Just know that. So it like I say, it is imperative, crucial. If they start runny nose, start feeling bad, start looking weird, start hanging her head, hit them with it right now. I mean, just get them, get them treated, get them doctored. You can't afford to wait. You can't afford to see what happens. Just go ahead while their immune system's good, while they're in good spirits, while they can fight it off, hit them with it. Don't let them fall behind because if they do, uh, you, you just got a corpse walking at that point. And then if you hit them, it's too, it's way too hot. Um, so that is, that is the Draxon review for me. I will still continue to use it. I have another shot in there. Uh, and, I, if somebody could comment also, where are you getting it in bulk? I know, um, it requires a prescription and I took my last ones into the vet so I could get a prescription, but they still won't sell it to me in bulk. Um, I need it in bulk. And, uh, I saw some of the other guys with the, uh, their cattle views, uh, with the dart guns, I will be buying one of those for when I'm out of town so my wife can literally load the gun and pop them with it. Uh, that is definitely going to up our rates for uh, survival, if you will. Um, I will be getting that. But I do need to know where I can get some of this traction in a, in a vial, like in bulk. Uh, so if anybody could leave me a comment or something down below, I would appreciate it. Um, definitely. Like these here, if I could have caught them when they just first started coughing, you know, and then have my shelter, uh, I, I should be 100, 200, well, probably almost 150 pounds heavier than where I am now. And if we're selling to a market where we're, where we're based on meat production, um, we've got to gain. We can't, if their head's not in the bunk, we're not making money. Or if they're not eating hay or if they're not gaining, we're, we're, we're losing because this, as everybody knows, the cattle market is definitely a very uh, tight margin. You, uh, you're you the richest poor man, if you will. Uh, you're not going to make a lot of money, but you do raise animals and you get attached and you show 
children, you know, where their food comes from, what it's all about. And uh, that's what it's all about, you know. The oil and gas is for the money, <laughs> in my case. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I've been rambling too much. Uh, Draxon update, questions, drop them. Uh, I'll answer what I can. If you have comments, suggestions, please leave them for me. I'll, I'll try to respond to all my comments within, you know, 24, 48 hours, uh, unless you're a knob or a uh, jack wagon. Yeah, you don't deserve my time. Uh, and I, yeah. Anyway, you know how it goes. Anyway, guys, uh, looking forward to tomorrow. I will be dropping the how we did uh, video. <laughs> After I sold 17 head and I was definitely disappointed. Uh, we definitely are upside down a little bit and uh, I'm gonna try to get all my figures together, do the math, you know, initial price, uh, drug cost, food po uh, feed cost, and <laughs> see how much I need to cry. I might have to shoot that video in the afternoon where I can drink a uh, one of them Colorado Kool-Aids while we do this one, cause uh, I might, uh, Get a little upset because <laughs> they hit me in the pocket pretty good but uh after everybody got sick and uh started losing calves they all had to go didn't have a choice and uh but that's okay it was a learning tool now i need to uh i know what i need to do for my next group first group was kind of a trial and error the next groups we're gonna we're gonna turn it up so enjoy guys uh thanks for watching uh, i hope everybody has a great day and uh i will be updating with the calf shed when i get that project going underway and we'll look at it criticize it do whatever don't expect it to be uh beautiful uh it's gonna be a calf shed but anyways guys take care catch you guys later like i say leave me comments i appreciate it thanks all for watching and uh have a good one